What up? What up? What up? Bankroll Tim bedded up. Well, got the maroon bu bubble done. It's sitting outside, hasn't left yet. They couldn't get a trailer for today. But anyways, getting Kevin's Cutlass back up on the lift. Quinn's Tires, Aurora, Illinois. Getting his back up on there so that way I can finish the back of it. Again, the back of the car has never been touched. I just bolted the wheels on it. But it's getting narrowed. Uh, quarter rail notch. Uh, adjustable buckets. Tubular control arms. Got everything sitting over here on the table. Not exactly sure how I'm going to use these buckets. I might, since this rear end is just a seven and a half, we might just use the stock buckets. I should be able to narrow it just to it, notch it for the brakes. We got the brakes sitting right here. Flat four piston caliber boom. The front brakes are already all on it. Got some paint sitting there. Got the coil over sitting there. Got all the bolts, all the hardware. Not everything on the table is pulled out, but a lot of good shit. All the good shit. Gotta have them good bolts. Gotta have the right size inserts. If it's a half inch bolt in an area, you gotta have a half inch insert. Um, 9 16 bolts. You know, gotta have the 9 16 insert. Box Chevys and stuff like that. Some will be a half inch bolt, some will be a 9 16 bolt. But it's better to make sure that you have all that in place right. So that way, when this is in here and this is in the car, you don't want this to be bigger than the car or the bolt to be bigger than the car and then bang, 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 you know, sloppy and then it just makes noise and eggs shit out and just messes everything up. But anyway, so the cutlass is going back up. Getting on this. I'm going to hit the back wheels off of it. We got the G in. I got to put some time in to get it rolling. I got to knock the whole front end out, all that. But the cutlass right here, the 442. I got the front wheels and all that on it. Um, the rear end is the gears all in there, the covers on, the gear lubes in it, which you can see the container is still there getting every last drop in. Boom. Hard brake lines for the back. Got the interior pieces here to put it back together on the inside because it was mini tub. So the seats might need just a little bit of trimming to these little bars right here. Just notch these bars so that way the, the tub goes right there. But I showed that before on this stuff. So that one is basically a, a realistically a couple hours from being done. So hopefully we can get that out of here this weekend and get right back on this. So that way I can get this ass in done. This is an 85, 86 Cutlass, just a V6 car. Again, all the front suspension done. The notch is done in the front, full turn. Like I said, I did trim the fender and move the chrome forward. You know, it's a bigger tire, whatever, but Cutlass is, you gotta trim the fender. So like that Cutlass there, I'm gonna have to trim the fender and it's got no, no chrome to it, but I'll trim it nice, not all packed up. So I'll show that when it's done course i'll get an outside video of that one but yep so finish this one up all right y'all thank you tim bet it up appreciate y'all i'm out